Hi, I'm Jessica Salatolo, and I am on the women's basketball team here at Cal Lutheran. Jessica was born on April 27, 1995 in Orange County. With the support of her two younger sisters, Maggie and Annie, her parents, Shannon and Alex, and her grandparents, she has been a successful basketball player for the past 11 years. Her love for the sport came at a young age. She started becoming a basketball fan when she was six years old, watching the Lakers. My dad just had the Laker game on in the house, and I saw Kobe playing, and I was like, oh my gosh, who is this? I want to play this sport. He's so good. This looks so fun. Yeah, so I would say Kobe Bryant <laughs> is the reason why I wanted to play basketball. She's been part of many leagues and teams over the years. I started uh, just at my elementary school, so just like kind of rec, I would say. And then um, I played NJB, which is also just like a general rec for like the community or whatever. Then I moved up to club in eighth grade. It was my first year playing club, which is kind of you travel more, you play in big tournaments. Um, and then I played high school, JV, varsity, and then college. So basically, um, after rec, once club hits, uh, it's way more serious and that's uh, people who play club really want to play at higher levels in high school and college. Throughout the years, she has developed countless friendships, even some dating back to her early days. Team relationships are the best. Um, all of my best friends, pretty much, that I have, I have made through basketball. Um, Taylor Messick, she's on my team now. I have only been on one different team with her my whole life. My best friend from home, Sydney, I met her in high school for basketball and all my best friends are basketball players. And Yeah, so all the friends I have made are through basketball, which is so important to me. Although Jessica has always loved basketball, she has had times of frustration and doubt. In high school, I had this one coach that sticks out for sure. He was always out to get me, I felt like. It was my first year playing in high school. It was freshman year, I was on JV which was a big step because I didn't play freshman basketball. I, play, I went right to JV, so he was always out to get me. Like Everything I did was wrong in his eyes. I would go home crying almost every day to my dad after practice. He would tell me after games he wouldn't play me because I was messing up in warm-ups, and he was just so degrading, I felt like, and just so rude and not like brought no positivity to basketball for me, and I just could not stand him. And, there were times where I wanted to quit basketball for sure because of him. I had other coaches I'd go from high school to club who were just so amazing and then I had my friends and my dad and my mom just always telling me to stick with it, stick with it, it'll get better. She had some tough times and some tough coaches but she persevered. When you face tough times you kind of just gotta push through them and know that there's a brighter light at the end so no I would say I never really questioned. I knew I loved this sport and I wanted to always play it. After her high school career came to an end, she decided to sign with California Lutheran University. Jessica has been an impactful and game-changing player for the Cal Lutheran Regals over the past four years. She even scored her 1,000th career point. During her free time, Jessica loves to spend time with her friends and family, going to concerts, the beach, and participating in fitness events. I love to hike, I love the outdoors, uh, anything with like physical exercise I love to do. I love to run and uh, me and my dad do these big races together, uh, it's called a Ragnar. I've done Ragnar two times, it's this race from Huntington Beach to San Diego and you're on a team of 12 and there's two vans, it's kind of like a giant relay race. So you're running for literally 24 hours straight, someone on your team is running. It's a crazy race, it's a huge commitment, a lot of training um, beforehand, but it's so worth it in the end. Her family are her biggest supporters dating back to day one. My family's support is for sure everything. Um, my dad, I don't think he misses a game. Yeah, I think there's about maybe 10 or 20 games that we've missed in all her whole oh, career yeah, of basketball. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, it will be, it'll be hard for sure. It's probably been five for me over <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of them. He'll travel, both my parents, they travel to all our away games. They come all the way from Orange County to Thousand Oaks. Um, my grandma and grandpa too, they're at so many games. Uh, it's just, it's crazy that I have such good support because a lot of people who come from far away, don't get their families at their games all the time, and I'm so lucky to have them at every game. Like, when they're not at my games, I feel, it feels weird, and 
I just, I want them there and it's, it's really nice. Jessica will be graduating this summer with 11 years of basketball under her belt, but plans on pursuing other careers not linked to her sport. I've always been interested in kind of the entertainment industry. I'm also super passionate about fitness and health, so maybe go towards that industry. I'm kind of just, I'm open to a lot. I will always love basketball. I'll always like go to basketball games, come back, support my team, but I don't know if I want to be involved in like a team or a um, coaching job after. Although Jessica will be done with her basketball career, it will always be a part of the Salatillo family. I, I, I think Jess is one of the hardest working, most caring. Um, she's a great teammate. She's loyal, and we're just so proud of the way she's handled herself on and off the court. She's a, become, always has been, but she's a, just a fine young woman, and we're very proud of that. Very proud. Love her very much. <laughs>